Hello everyone and welcome back to Shortcode. This is the ninth video in my Python Basics series. Today we will be learning about assignment operators. We have already covered one assignment operator and you may have not even realised, but we learnt it in the second video when we learnt about variables. Okay, so... As you know, we need to open up idle, file, new file. Okay, so we'll just create a variable first. So variable equals five. Now this right here, that's an assignment operator. So the next assignment operator we can also do is variable plus equals five which is the same as variable equals variable plus 5. It's just a short way of saying it. It's sort of to mix an arithmetic operator with an equal sign. In fact, we need to print something first. Print vari variable. Save it and run it. We get 10 because what it's doing is variable equals 5, variable plus equals 5, so that's adding on 5 to 5 and assigning that new variable, which is 5 plus 5, to variable, which is 10. So if we got rid of this and run it, we'd still get 5 because this isn't assigning it, it's just doing an arithmetic operator. So we need to make variable 10, we need to use the assignment operator. Now we've also got plenty of other ones. Oh, by the way, this is what's called a comment. It's like Python just ignores it so you can make some notes on what your code is actually doing. So we can also do some other assignment operators. So vari variable minus equals 5 print vari variable. We get 0 because 5 minus 5 is zero and then variable equals zero print variable it's zero if we times it by five we get 25 again if you remove it it's not it's not assigning it so it'll just stay five we've also got division it, it's basically just all the arithmetic operators with an equal sign to make an assignment operator so you get 1, because 5 divided by 5 is 1. Again, indices. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 3,125. If we do floor division, which is rounding down to the nearest tall number, we get 1. Maybe if we change it to 6, actually, that will be better. Yeah, we still get 1. Uh, we can also use modulus which gets the remainder. So yeah, th those are all the assignment um, operators. So we'll just make a little comment here, which is just a, a piece of text that Python ignores when it's run. So we have plus equals, minus equals, times equals, divide equals, indices equals and floor division sorry floor division equals so there we go so now for some challenges for you to do by yourself have a variable equals four then use the modulus assignment operator with the second operand which is like this which is a number on the right hand side of the arithmetic of the assignment operator as a number of your choice, then print out the variable. Have a variable of your choice, and then use the indices and floor division on it, with the second operand being a number of your choice, or numbers of your choice. And finally, have a variable and go through each assignment operator, with the first operand being the variable and the second operand being free, and see what happens. That's all for today, guys. If you have any questions or errors, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. 
turn on notifications as well so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.